It has been a bit since we've actually been fishing. If you guys saw the last video, we were on a cruise and that was really fun. We actually got to go off of the boat and do, you know, a little bit of fishing in Puerto Rico. That was just a really cool experience. But now we are back in Florida. It feels like it's been forever since I've kind of done some exploring and fishing around some of these areas. So we actually stopped at the tackle shop. By the way, if you haven't been keeping up with the videos, this foot, yeah, it, whatever, I'm not gonna talk about it, but I've been ordered to get off of it for a couple weeks. So that's why we got the scoot and we got the boot and we're hopping a little bit. But we stopped at the tackle shop. We have bucket number one and bucket number two. This actually, well, which one is this? I don't even know. You know what they say, man. It's always a good thing to have options. So this one, all right, we've got like about, can you even see that? I don't think y'all can see that. We got a dozen shrimp in there. Trust me, they're in there. And that means in this dude, boom. We've got about a dozen mud minnows. So we are gonna be fishing probably some different spots, probably some different rigs and we'll see if anything is out here and wants to uh, eat some thick, fresh bait. Today's video is actually sponsored by Surfshark. More on that later. Real quick though, I just gotta say thank you guys so much, man. 600,000, 600K subscribers. I'm telling you, just thank you guys so much, man. It really means the freaking world. And once this foot is healed, we're gonna be going bonkers. It will heal. It's really been kind of limiting us, but it will not today. All right, Wheel, you have a very important job. Keep the shrimp cool and just happy. Is this gonna work? <laughs> bucket in the basket all right we're taking the mud minnows on an adventure to this first spot here i don't know why i feel like i always have bad luck when it comes to bubblers my freaking bubbler is broken so those shrimp might croak but you can still catch stuff on croaked shrimp but right now we are going to scoot over this way i kind of scouted a spot that looks pretty good we got a little popping cork on so the goal today is kind of just hopefully catch fish i mean it's fishing it's salt water you really never know what could happen but if we do you know catch something that'd be pretty cool maybe we catch something to eat i don't know man i'm feeling good today though all right we're off-roading now oh gosh water splashing all over all right we're almost at the spot i don't know if i can scoot up that hill that might be a bit of a challenge but what's really cool you guys see these boats one, two, three, four, right there. A lot of these people like live on their boats and they like travel. It's just cool, man. Boat life. Maybe we'll have to buy a boat someday. All right, can we get up this hill? Oh my God. <laughs> I, think, I think I have to take these out first. Oh. All right, we might have to park that and just kind of hop on down. Look at this. This looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, this actually looks really freaking good. It looks like the tide comes up here. Look at all these fiddler crab holes. There's bait for these fish to want to come over here. There is a pier right there. But right around this corner, there's like a little uh, point that kind of sticks out as the tide comes in. I think it goes around there, creates an eddy right over here. I don't know. I've never fished here before, at least in this spot. Okay. Get one of these dudes on. I cannot wait for the day that we can go kayak fishing again though there's actually a fishing pier kind of near here and there's just it's a lot of people so here is what we got going on that's like a one knot circle hook oh geez got a super hyped up mud minnow and that has a leader that goes up to this little popping cork again if you're not familiar with the popping cork it's a float it's a bobber but it rattles and stuff and it's got a little weight on it so you can cast it out pretty good oh geez that was not the bet that yep <laughs> Not the best cast. The goal of the popping cork is to create some noise and um, attract some fish. And then hopefully they'll see your cork, they'll see your bait, it'll be like a nice looking boat right there. All right, let's see if we can get a better cast on this. Yeah. That's out there a little bit further. Don't want it too shallow. So basically, as the tide kind of moves around, fish will come up, like it's really shallow right here, but it drops off a little bit. Fish will come out all over this stuff, trying to find the bait fish, maybe eat some fiddlers. So we are kind of hoping something's gonna be swimming around here. I kind of went with the, uh... I don't want to call it, oh. We got a freaking fish. We got a fish. We got a fish. First fish of the day. What do we got here? No. 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 
I want to say a huge thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Surfshark is a VPN service that makes online privacy easy. It's literally an app. If you don't know, VPN is a virtual private network and it encrypts all the data between your computer and the internet so that nobody can steal your sensitive information. It also provides truly organic search results and it protects you from those creepy targeted ads. You know when you search for something one time and you keep getting smacked with ads and ads and ads for that one thing? Yeah, that's creepy. A VPN can also be used for more than just security reasons. It's super easy to change the location of your computer and get access to a completely new content library on streaming services that may be geo-restricted. If you don't already have a VPN, I highly recommend Surfshark. You can actually get an exclusive Surfshark holiday VPN season deal. Click the link in the description below or go to surfshark.deals FSF and enter promo code FSF to get up to an additional six months for free. Everyone can benefit from a VPN in some way. Just make sure you stay protected. Thank you again, Surfshark. Let's go catch some fish, man. It came off, it came off. That is not good. I mean, that is good that we got a fish, but that is not good. That just came off like that. All right, we're just gonna pitch that back. I was gonna say, we, we started with the home run option because in my mind, a lot of things will bite shrimp, a lot of things will eat shrimp, but it could be smaller stuff and they could be picking it off. You know what I mean? Like we could throw this out here, could be little perch and stuff, just picking us apart, little pinfish. Whatever it is. Dang it. All right, get that back out there. As I was saying though, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That thing scooted right when it hit the water. If something bites the minnow though, it's gonna be something nice-ish, hopefully. We're talking about trout, possibly uh, flounder, redfish, bluefish, one fish, two fish. Not some like little tiny, big, 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 pluck at it your bait's gone I'm talking about some real like bait slurpers that's what we're after right now i think we just had did we we had something come on man that's kind of the nice thing about these mud minnows too is when you put them on a popping cork they're a lot more lively and uh the, i feel like in my personal opinion they make a lot more commotion and they just stay alive, I'd say freaking 10 times better than a shrimp would. You kind of put a shrimp out there, and I mean, if the water's a little bit different, you know, temperature or salinity, or if you pop them around a couple times, they, the shrimp could just croak. Not make much of a appetizing entree. That looks like money right there. Give it a few pops. A lot of you guys, see look, I'm from Delaware. We don't really use popping corks, honestly, really for any circumstances. So I'm still kind of learning how to uh, be one with the cork. But a lot of you guys said just like pop it, you know, pop it here, pop it there. Just let the bait kind of do its thing. Some of you guys said sometimes you don't even have to pop it. Like you just chuck it out there and it's just like, you know, it's a bobber. Bait will do its thing. And then some of you guys are like, dude, what are you doing? You got to pop, 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 pop. Seems like the cork is a bit divided. Let me know how you guys fish this, man. Oh, that boat threw off some waves. This is probably one of my favorite ways to fish down here. It's visual, you know? You know when you're top water fishing, you see that like when the fish kind of smacks it. This isn't quite at that level, but when you see that freaking bobber just get sucked under, especially when it like torpedo is I haven't under. done much of this recently, but uh, when we were kayak fishing, this was one of my go-to setups and it's just, you know, we hit the points, see the thing shoot under. We caught some big redfish. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I definitely recommend checking them out. I definitely wouldn't mind hooking into a nice, Thick old red right here as well. Whew. All right. Jeez, man. What do they say in those country songs? Get a little dirt on your boots, a little mud on tires. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab my other rod. We're gonna team up shrimp and mud minnow and we're going to uh, attempt to go on this fishing pier over here. There's a lot of people, so I don't know how much I can talk or how loud I can talk, but hopefully we can catch uh, 
something. Skirt. I kind of wanted to keep the uh, minnows and the shrimp kind of separated, but they are together now. One big happy family. All right, let's get out here. It's kind of weird. It got like really breezy and chilly. All right, it's kind of crowded. Let's get out here. See what's going on. Okay, well, I was not expecting that. That was um on a minnow. Thought I was snagged. <laughs> Just put a shrimp on this now. way out in the channel. Mud minnow, what do we got? Oh, we got fish. Oh, we got fish. Get up here. <laughs> All right, first actual catch of the day. That is cool. Our other rod is snagged at the moment, but this is, oh geez, chill. There's so many snags here. This guy was just talking to me about how he kept getting snagged. There's a bunch of wine in the water everywhere. That is nice. That is definitely not a keeper. Oh, I see my little minnow swimming right there. Boom. First actual fish. Not, no disrespect to the toadfish. Look at those little teeth right there. That is so pretty. All right. We are back. We are back. But um, yeah, I would rather not catch any more toadfish today. Them things get you freaking snagged. All right, do I have any more of those dudes? Oh yeah. See how we feel about that. Dude, I just retied this. I think we got bit off by like a bluefish or something. Now I think we're snagged on some freaking line. Come on. That's one of the worst parts about fishing at like public piers and places where just so many people fish. Even just right now, there's like so many people fishing. It's like the most random time. If you're wondering, that trout was not big enough to take home, although I would go for some tasty trout. I'm definitely in need of some gear. I gotta go to tackle shop, re-up on a bunch of freaking stuff, man. Out of swivels, out of certain hooks. Right now we are going to try one of these bottom jigs. This is like in my bag basically for sheep's head. <laughs> I don't know if there's any sheep's head that go around these docks, but we can try for them. Skirt! Just drove back to the truck real quick. Got some water and a snack. And I found a swivel so we can tie something up on this other rig again. Whew. 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 I'm not gonna lie, man. Today is a freaking, it's just a nice day.
There we go. There we go. Oh, wait. What is that? What the heck is that? All right, y'all. Third species of the day. Wait. Is that what I think it is? All right, I may be wrong. I think that's a black sea bass. It might be a different color. I don't know. I'm colorblind. Looks just like the black sea bass that we catch back in Delaware. I know they have them down in Florida. I don't know. It's always fun whenever you go to like little piers or really anywhere. If you if you have some smaller gear and you just see what's around. A lot of times that can be like super helpful when trying to figure out like what bait is around and all that stuff. But especially when you're down in Florida, especially like South Florida or Puerto Rico, like last video, like it's just cool to see all the exotic, cool little species that lie below. Alright, let's see who else is down here. Surprise that freaking big rod has not got hit in a while. This is what we got going on right now. Just chilling out here. It's like a nice, cool, like 60-ish, like little breeze. It's just nice, man. So we got this rod. It's kind of out in the middle. I just recast that. Again, that's got a nice juicy mud middle on there and then this rod we just casted this out this also has a nice juicy mud middle i kind of put it in this little cut right here i don't know if you have anything i'll eat that over here there's just so many snags on this side i don't I just want to snag my day away Fourth species of the day. Had to figure these guys were around, man. Boom! That was almost directly when that hit the water, too. That is a nice little perch. A little silver perch. It's been kind of quiet. Oh. This tide stopped moving. Seems like everything stopped grooving. What is that? Last fish of the day on the last bait. We've been here for a while. What is that? Oh. All right, looks like another one of these. I think that is, yeah, we swallowed that thing, dude. All right, so not bad. A little bit of a multi-species day. I appreciate you guys all for watching. And if you guys didn't see the last video, seriously, from the cruise, that was a pretty cool freaking video, man. Right now, I, uh, I'm back. In the state of Delaware. Yesterday I drove about 11 hours straight home. We're gonna be doing some stuff here. Seeing some family and friends, you know, for the holidays and stuff. Um, it's gonna be a quick trip. Hopefully I can film some stuff. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys wanna see. I definitely would like to do some creek stuff. It's just like when it gets cold here, it's hard to fish and it's freaking cold. I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been in Florida too long. It is like cold, cold. <laughs> Again, thank you to Surf Shark for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank y'all for all the support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you for watching. You see you next video. Way.